Hello everyone, Tennessee Tactical back at it again with another video for you today. So I have uh, completed my lower receiver build uh, for the DPMS 308. I wanted to show you guys kind of uh, what I did. Um, it took me a whole evening um, and I lost a lot of detents, detent springs. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, uh, we have finished uh, this and uh, those pesky detent springs have been found. So... Oh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So um, I will be doing a upper, and we're, we're going to have to complete this firearm. Uh, so I will be uh, building the upper receiver. Um, so the lower receiver, like I said, we have built. Uh, going over the highlights here of what we've uh, done, uh, we started out, or I started out, I guess everybody starts in, in different areas if, if you want to or whatever, but I started out putting the fire control group in, uh, the disconnector, all that good stuff. I put that in first. Then I moved my way down here to the safety selector as well as the grip. And some of these parts here have to be put in at the same time. Like the detent for the, um, for the takedown pin here has to be put in at the same time as the uh, grip. Uh, and As well as the grip is, and the safety selector detents and everything. It's, it's crazy. There's a lot that needs to be done to it. So anyway, uh, I done that and then moved my way down to this uh, takedown pin here, put that in. They gave us a nice takedown uh, pivot pin tool here. Uh, it took me forever to figure out how to use it because uh, it's, it really didn't give good instructions, but I figured it out nonetheless. And then after that, I moved my way to the magazine release, uh, which works. and all, all this stuff works. I've done a functions check on it. Um, and then the uh, bolt release here, bolt catch. After that, I moved my way down to the uh, receiver extension part of the uh, firearm. I put uh, the um, buffer spring tube, buffer retaining spring and pin in, um, and then the castle nut, uh, which I did stake, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. The requirements was to stake it. So I did that as well, and then you've got your stock here and everything. So this is the complete lower for the DPMS Panther Arms uh, AR-10. And I will be making another video uh, when I've uh, completed the upper as well as a complete uh, firearm build review and first shots and range videos for you. Uh, but that's really about it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want to make a couple mentions. We did do a couple uh, practical applications, uh, not just building the lower for the modern sporting rifle um, portion of the uh, elective, uh, but we also did uh, some like safety measure checks, stuff like that, uh, stuff like um, headspace uh, check, as well as uh, measuring the twist rate of your, uh, of your barrel. So I will be making videos in the near future of like how to do that, uh, but just basically like a very basic overview, the um, headspace thing, we just used uh, go and no-go gauges. We had to strip the ejector off the bolt here uh, with this bolt vise. That's a pretty cool little tool. Uh, I didn't really know what this is. I'd never even seen it before until they sent it in the school, and I got to say, this was very handy. It's like a... You know a bench block but to hold your bolt in place when you're disassembling or working on it or whatever um so that was pretty cool there and we had to test the the uh head spacing and chambering of the barrel that was pretty cool and then we did a twist rate uh video where we had to um basically take the big cleaning rod that i showed you guys in the unboxing we had to take that and uh, put a patch through and put a little flag indicator on the cleaning rod, measure the barrel twist uh, rate and everything like that to make sure that the twist rate was correct uh, and that it stamped correctly on the barrel. So that was pretty cool. They were fairly easy assignments, um, but like that's really about it. Um, so I'm moving along, uh, be graduating in just a few weeks actually, so it's very exciting for that but uh stay tuned for more videos in the future um and i'll be making a video uh on that upper receiver when i get it done and another thing that i've been doing simultaneously is i have been uh, doing some hand checkering uh from sdi uh, they sent a hand checkering kit and we're having to do that and i'll be making a video once i get that done as well explaining so thank you all for watching i hope you all have a good uh holiday weekend 
Um, I know this is probably going to be recorded after the 4th of July and, and published after the 4th of July, but I hope you all had a good holiday. Uh, comment down below if you built an AR-10 or any kind of AR platform before. Let me know what was your hardest part of the build. I think the hardest part is probably those pesky detent pins in the, in the springs. Those suck whenever they get launched across your room and you got to go find it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to slap that like button. If you're new to this channel and you want to get subscribed and get notified every time I turn on a video, slap that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss any upload. Without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Goodbye.